people may need to add new lines on their vaccination cards. Pharmaceutical companies are developing a vaccine to target the latest strain of COVID. Queen City News reporter Savannah Rudisell is live outside the hospitals in Charlotte's Elizabeth neighborhood. And Savannah, we just spoke with Moderna's chief medical officer who says the vaccine's strength starts fading after six months of getting that booster shot. Yeah, that's right. And why and public health experts, even though they know this, they still stand behind current vaccination processes. But they say people aren't up to date. They're not fully protected unless they're up to date on their shots, meaning they have every uh, shot and booster available. Uh, now, we know, especially in the uh, time of Omicron variant, they say that's why it's especially important to be completely up to date. Now, Pfizer and Moderna executives, they've both announced that they're working on an Omicron specific booster. Now, trials, uh, White House advisor Dr. Anthony Fauci, he says that ultimately there's a goal among all of them to create a universal vaccine called a pan coronavirus vaccine. He says that'll help them avoid kind of a whack a mole approach where companies will develop a booster following each new variant. But he says this will take some time anyone to think that pan coronavirus vaccines are literally around the corner in a month or two. It's going to take years to develop. Experts predict that this kind of shot will eventually be like the flu vaccine where people will get it once a year and uh, the manufacturers will tweak it uh, based on what strains are most prevalent that year. Now the latest variant stealth Omicron that threatens to be one of the most contagious, var contagious variants of the coronavirus yet. Hear why doctors say this is a cause for concern but not yet panic coming up here within our next half hour. Reporting live in Charlotte, Savannah Rudisell, Queen City News.